Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you've been around for a little while, uh, you know for about the past year that we have been running these Grandstream GCC 6010 devices. And these are an all-in-one appliance that give you router, firewall, advanced security features, and a phone system, as well as device management. And you can pick one of these GCC 6010s up for about 150 bucks, and you get the first year of security updates at no charge, and then you can go year by year, I think it's $79 a year, but that gives you updated signatures on all of the advanced security that's happening on this box. We've been very, very happy with these. They are not uh, rack mounted by default. You can see they've got the rubber feet pre-installed. Got your wall mount there. Uh, and you can go back, you can look. I was super hyped when this came out, but Grandstream knew that they needed a product or, or a next evolution in the series that would, you know, handle large installations. So this, this is a small office, home office, medium sized office, depending on what you're doing. And so now they've released the GCC 6020 and 6021. Now I have here the GCC 6021 and this appliance is absolutely fantastic. So there you can see if it'll focus for me, you get 16 one gig ports, eight 2.5 gig ports, four SFP plus cages, you get HA1 and HA2, so your HA ports. You get a console port, a management port, USB on the bottom. You can put an M.2 in it. I've got the rack mount ears installed, as you can see here on the back. There is a standard power plug, a grounding lug. You got your serial number, your password, and then you have this R. Uh, redundant power so I'm assuming they're gonna have a redundant power or it's gonna be able to work with a redundant power system that's out there not sure about that yet but when they start putting those on devices usually we see that come down the line now let's hop on over to the this thing is heavy I'm gonna I'm gonna mount it in the rack back there so we can do some videos on it but let's take a look at the data sheet real quick. So like I said, the two new versions right now are the 6021 and the, the 6020. You can see this is the 6020 here, quite a bit smaller. And let's get into the details. So of course you get the PBX that can do audio, video. You get the firewall, you get Anti antivirus, uh, malware, ransomware at the gateway. You get layer three through seven IDS, IPS, DPI, TLS slash SSL uh, inspection. The built in router, VPN router supports 6.5 or 10 gig. Let's take a look. Oh, by the way, we do have PoE out on this, so it's not just a switch. So let's take a look. This is the 6021, so it does have that four 10 gig SFP plus ports, eight 2.5 ports, and 16 gigabit ports. Right here it says you can have a maximum of five WAN, so you can have five WAN ports with this. That might be coming in a future firmware. There's an asterisk there, right? So we'll have to scroll down and see exactly what that means. Out of the chute, it's got four gigs of DDR. 4 plus 256 meg DDR3 RAM, 32 gigs MMC, and 128 megs of NAND. Does have the M.2 storage. The router can route at 10 gigabits. IPsec throughput 1.3 gigabits a second. Next gen firewall throughput, so IDS, IPS, you will get 9 gigabits a second through this. By default, the PBX has 50 users and 16 concurrent calls. So if you need more than that, you can add a license to upgrade that. Mounting on this is desktop and rack mount. You can see I have the rack mount ears 
If you're not using the rack mount ears, they do send the little feet that go on the bottom. Supports all of the things that the 6010 series supports. And let's see if we can talk about our PoE. So it looks like all 24 ports on this are PoE. So the you get eight ports of AF, AT, and BT, and you get 16 ports of AF, AT. So you do get a total of 24 ports of PoE with a max usage of 370 watts. I'm really excited about this because this was missing from the, the product line. So go back in my original video and you'll see people saying, well, no 2.5 gig ports. Only the WAN ports on the GCC 6010 can do 2.5 gig. So now you've got eight 2.5 gig ports. You've got 16 gigabit ports, four SFP plus at 10 gig. And this thing comes in, depending on who you buy it from, which where we get ours, it's, they're an authorized reseller, and this thing is under 600 bucks. And that comes with the first year of security updates. So an incredible price, and you have to really learn how to, how to do or how to use some of those more advanced functions. So that's something we're going to do with this. Real quick, I just want to get it rack mounted. I want to get it fired up. And then I'm going to do some other videos. So I'm going to do all that in, a, in a, my next video for this. This was to kind of show you it's here, show you what the specs are, so you can tell me what you think, right? This is kind of an introduction to it. Then we're going to get it racked. We're going to get, get it installed, and we're going to start um, managing devices with it. So I did a video on Tri-Band Grandstream Wi-Fi 7AP. So we will actually go ahead and manage this and maybe we'll manage a couple other switches because the new switch firmware also has stacking. So we need to look at that as well. There's a lot of new features that we haven't had a chance to get to. So let me know what you think about this. And in the next video, we'll get it fired up. We'll make sure we're on the latest firmware. We'll do all those things and we'll start doing some configuration. We'll do the TLS inspection. I'm telling you, that's where it's going. Cyber liability insurance, things are not getting looser, they're getting tighter. And to have these appliances, right now you can pick that GCC 6010 up for like 149 bucks with the first year of updates included. Right. So if you're thinking, you know, forward about your security, about your security footprint, of course, this is only one layer in the design of your security. You design in layers. I like to call it the security uh, jawbreaker. Just one piece, but a very inexpensive, high value proposition in this product line. So let me know what you think down below. And if you like this video and these products, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's there on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible, whether it's security, voice over IP, wired and wireless networking, storage, all those things. I actually see this appliance as a really nice all-in-one device for a, a medium to small sized office, add some switches to it, and then obviously it's gonna scale. If you wanna talk about this and other tech related content, head on over to community.willyhow.com and sign up today. Once again, I'm Willie. I hope you're as excited about these GCC 6020 and 6021s as I am. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.